So, you know, we can just, you know, come along with our, uh, with our lovely barrel here and we can go over to our lovely truck and we can, oh boy, yeah, no, intentional, 100%. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with more stuff that I've built out of blocks. When I was looking to stream a couple weeks ago, uh, I didn't really know what to do so I went on Discord and one of the suggestions on Discord was to stream the making of a bobcat. And uh, obviously I didn't do that on the stream because uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, that might be too short. And uh, I do kind of agree, but uh, that's why we also got a truck and trailer over there for the bobcat. But, you know, overall I'm really, really happy with this build. Uh, obviously completely in vanilla, so it is a little bit large of a bobcat there but uh, we've got six electric motors in the back with triple bearings on each wheel so we can get that true wasd tank drive so 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 what why right so i used a really interesting uh a and d converter this time something a little bit different that i've never used before and uh sometimes as a result it doesn't like to work but you know i just put it on the lift there took it off the lift and we're back in business Overall, I mean, pretty simple bobcat, so you just drive with W, A, S, and D, obviously, and uh, you can turn and all that, and we can, you know, do those good old bobcat wheelie tricks. Everybody likes bobcat wheelie tricks. And then, of course, you can press 1, and uh, 1 will raise and lower the entire bucket arm there. And then uh, 2 will tilt the bucket down, you can see, and 3 will tilt the bucket back up. So overall, you know, relatively simple bobcat. Um, pretty sure it's terrible at picking stuff up. The, the ramps on the front, like if we try, if we try placing a, like a, just a block here, like just a two by one block, I don't even think we can, oh no, hold on, no, this is, this is good, see, no, I don't, see, it doesn't, it doesn't want to, come on, get up there, okay, let's, well, let's try something bigger, you know what, maybe, maybe we're just not meant to pick up small little blocks, no, see, there, there's, well, you know, we can just jam it up against tree, but anyways, no real uh, practical use for Bobcat as of yet, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the way this... Really? Really? Can we... Can we just... I just need to... We're just... Alright, we know we're a bulldozer now. This is working quite well. Come on. Get up there. This is good. You know, we're just gonna... We're gonna push it up. Here we go. This will this will be the spot. Cons Construction Services. Okay, no, we're gonna... We're gonna get this. But as you can see, overall, uh, pretty, pretty dang useless. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, look at that. Okay, now let's tilt, tilt the bucket back. Tilt. There we go. Lift it up. Oh yeah, son. All we needed was a big wall. All right, let's, let's just bring this over to our destination. Look at that. Perfect. We've got skills. But anyways, obviously, a bobcat in scrap mechanic uh, without mods, so you only have those little 45 degree pieces. Very difficult to get stuff onto the scoop, but, uh, you know, we could always attach a different type of uh, front attachment to it. You can see there, it just uses a single double bearing on that one side, on that right side there. There's that extra pipe piece, and then the other side is just a free-floating bearing. But uh, overall, we do just... Okay, no, oh, no, we're gonna lose it. Oh, man. That was close. So, you know, we can just, you know, come along with our, uh, with our lovely barrel here and we can go over to our lovely truck and we can, oh boy, yeah, no, intentional, 100%, perfect. We can, that's gonna fall off no matter what, right? So we could just, I guess, because that's gonna fall off no matter what, we could just raise our truck up and, uh, of course, dump that barrel back out. But I did want to make an entire sort of bobcat truck, kind of like a landscaping thing, sort of. I wasn't really going so much for construction in this case. Um, I know they do use bobcats in construction, but I really wanted a landscaping kind of truck and trailer and all that. You know, the bobcat actually works very, very easily. Um, if you guys haven't done, it, it might look like a lot, but it's really not. If you haven't done WASD steering before using three bearings, uh, I do have a tutorial from a long, long time ago, but the principle is still the same. Uh, but basically you have three sets of engines, right? So you have to have six engines total. You have to have three for the left and three for the right. And how it works is you have one set of engines that's attached directly to your seat for your W and S controls. And then a second set of engines which is attached to your A and D converter, one going forwards and one going backwards. And that way when you, when you turn A, for example, 
the left side goes backwards and the front side goes forwards and when you turn B the opposite effect happens but if you turn B while holding forwards it actually cancels out on the one side so you have the one side going twice as fast and the other side going half as fast so it ends up working out overall I am really happy with the way this design turned out uh, I love the fact that you can do the standard bobcat wheelie tricks like just come on about 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 oh yeah but I mean, obviously those electric engines just super powerful uh, and, you know, giving you the ability to do pretty much whatever you want. But really, really, really fun design. And then, of course, we can uh, we can take our truck and load it up onto the trailer. So if we take a look at the trailer, I mean, the trailer is pretty simple stuff. Uh, it's just free floating bearings. I love the look of this trailer. I think it looks great. Just like one of those sort of uh, utility type landscaping trailers. But, uh, you know, just a really simple fence there and some controls here on the front. So it doesn't have any sort of like uh, hitch mechanism so much. The truck has a little bit of a grabber hitch that's the opposite direction. And you can see there, the trailer's actually even block width. And uh, this is an even width, but it actually allows for just a nice little groove there, which you can fit this into and the truck is odd width. But you'll see when it's driving, you never notice the trailer actually centers itself and it's quite nice. Um, but really just two switches on the trailer. So the red switch will raise those back ramps, of course, when we bring the Bobcat up. And then the uh, the white switch will raise and lower that front jack so you can actually get the trailer attached to the truck, right? So you can see there. And we can always, if we need to, just click on that piston and extend the range of the jack depending on, you know, where we are and if the truck doesn't need it. But on flat ground, it, uh, it only needs a length of three. So we just get in our truck here. Uh, again, not much to the truck, just uh, one button to raise and lower that back bed area. In case you want to put higher walls on it, turn it into a dump truck, you can totally do that. I have it sort of just as a, a flat bed right now. And then uh, we can back up here and just line up like so. Let's just line up with this. Come on, come on, you can do it. All right, you just got to go slow because the suspension will kind of rock up and down. There we go. And then perfect. So now you can see we've clamped that on. And we're, uh, we're attached to our truck. So we can, of course, lower this jack here. Or raise the jack, I guess. And now you can see all the weight is on the way to the truck. And with the four wheels, it, it really it looks awesome. You'll see. When it rides over terrain, it's great. There is a little bit of lag when you get the truck onto the trailer, onto the Bobcat. I mean, I don't know why all three of them colliding. See there, you can see uh, we dropped to about 40 FPS and then down to like 20. But once we start driving, it'll actually, like kind of fix itself sometimes i don't know it's really weird stuff sometimes it gets super laggy and sometimes it doesn't but uh, we just back right up there and the wheels they perfectly fit right within that even width so the bobcat is the perfect width to fit between those pipes with just enough room and you can see there we can just back right up and uh you know we could back all the way down into here if we wanted to and uh leave some room for other stuff on this trailer but i usually back up to about here and uh maybe a little bit more forward and then we take the uh, the bucket here and we just tilt the bucket all the way down. And you don't need to attach this with any other like restraints or anything. And I'll show you, it actually stays on pretty good. So I just tilt the bucket all the way down just like that. So it's sort of at the bottom of that ramp. And that kind of keeps it from going the one way. And then of course your wheels on the far side of the ramp there keep it from going the other way. And we've, uh, we've loaded up our Bobcat. So then we can just hit this red switch here. Raise those back ramps just to make sure it doesn't fall off, which of course it won't. And then we can get in our truck and uh, we can drive off. And still very low frame rate right now, but uh, hopefully you'll see it'll just magically fix itself a little bit. Oh, can't turn too fast there. No, it, it doesn't want to fix itself yet. But anyway, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I don't I don't really know why, but it's the, uh, the good old law of multiple collisions in Scrap Mechanic. But uh, overall, I mean, I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. There's suspension on the trailer, which, I mean, I guess you could remove the suspension on the trailer, but you can see even going down into, like, these dips and, oh, boy, like, the Bobcat just took some air there, but uh, it still, you know, sits itself back nicely in between those pipes, and uh, we really don't have any issues. And, you know, just awesome to have. I love this sort of set as, uh, you know, three vehicles in this sort of construction set, so... I will definitely upload this to the workshop. Um, I'll attach all three vehicles though together with some pipe pieces and you'll just have to disconnect like you know the yellow pipe pieces or something. But uh, I will upload this whole set to the workshop because I think it's a lot of fun to play with. And uh, I mean it is, it is again the lagtastic challenge. Overall not too bad. 
and we should be able to just jump right off this mountain don't know if we're gonna live but uh we should we shouldn't have any issues really oh boy no wait oh there goes the bobcat and the trailer wow okay perfect but anyways guys make sure you go download this from the workshop if you're interested uh i'd be very careful with the lag there you go you see now we've got a great frame rate uh nice 50 frames per second so again like i saw oh, and then i say that and then it drops back down to like 15 but you know it is a very weird sort of thing sometimes the collisions get good and sometimes they don't but uh you know here it is again 43 10 15 i don't know it's a really weird sort of interaction but make sure you guys uh hit that like button down below and uh hit that subscribe button and uh hopefully one day with survival mode builds like this maybe we'll have a little bit more of a purpose you know we could uh we could do something with the uh with the bobcat have some sort of a cool clawing arm or something like that and uh or maybe like a resource collecting arm or something like that and hopefully of course the frame rate will be a little bit better with all these collisions going on but uh, you can see there that truck just powering through Pulling that trailer up the hill, no problem, and uh, definitely a lot of fun to drive, and uh, I had a lot of fun making it. So make sure you guys hit those buttons down below, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.